Hi, I'm John from Chatomize, and in this video, I will show you how we can use intent with Dialogflow. An intent is an action a user wants to do or a question a user has. For example, they want to order a pizza, book an appointment, or want more information about your company. In Dialogflow, we can create an agent that can understand the intent of the user and automatically reply to it. Let's see how we can create an intent in Dialogflow. So I already created an agent in Dialogflow called PizzaBot. And when you create an agent in Dialogflow, Dialogflow automatically creates two default intents for you. This is the default welcome intent and the default fallback intent. So the default welcome intent is for understanding greetings such as hey, hi, and hello. And each intent consists of two main parts. It consists of training phrases, and these training phrases will help Dialogflow to understand the intent of the user, and it consists of a response. So if Dialogflow understands that the user says a greeting, then it will respond with, hi, how are you doing? Or it can respond with, greetings, how can I assist? Then we also have the fallback intent, and the fallback intent is when Dialogflow doesn't understand the user, and then it will say something like, I miss what you said, what was that? Can you say that again or one more time? So let's imagine we're a pizza company and we want to automatically handle questions from our customers. Then we can create our own intent. So we can just click on create intent and we're going to create one for our opening time. So we will call this opening times and then we can add training phrases. So we can add what are your opening times? Just opening times, when are you open, and are you open every day? And then we can also set a response. So we can just click on add response, and then we can say, we are open every day from 9 to 5. And when we have done that, we can just click on save, and then Dialogflow will save this intent, and will automatically train the agent. So Dialogflow needs to train the agent in order to respond to questions. So the agent training has started, and now we'll say it is completed. So now we can test the intent. So we can say, when are you open? And Dialogflow will see that this is the opening times intent, and it will automatically respond with, we are open every day from nine to five. So this is a typical intent for getting more information about a company, but we can also create an intent for an action, ordering a pizza. So if we go back to intents and create a new intent, we will call this order pizza. And then we can also add training phrases. So we can say, can I order a pizza? I want a pizza. Can I have a pizza? and may I have a pizza. And then we can also set a simple response for this. So of course you can get a pizza. And then again, we can save this and Dialogflow will save this intent, will train the agent again, and then we can also test this intent. So now we can say, may I have a pizza? Of course you can get a pizza. I want a pizza. But Dialogflow also understands phrases that you didn't put in the training phrases section. For example, I would like a pizza. Then we'll say, of course you can get a pizza. So although we didn't say I would like a pizza in our training phrases, because we're using Google's AI with Dialogflow, Dialogflow will understand the intent of the user. The next thing we want to do is ordering different kinds of pizzas with different toppings. So for example, we want to understand if a user says, I want a veggie pizza, or I want a pizza with pineapple. And in order to do this, we need to use Dialogflow entities. And I will cover that in my next video. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.